What up, world? I'm Steve, founder and CEO of Crypto Crew University. This is where we keep crypto simple. Today, another exciting video. We're going to cover two surprise indicators that will help you predict Bitcoin's next big move. One of them is a warning sign that's playing out right now. You don't want to miss this. If you guys are new here, join the movement, hit that subscribe button right now, and everybody hit that thumbs up button right now. I appreciate you. Before we get into this exciting video, I have something even more exciting. We have four days left for these massive savings, guys. Only four days left. If you remember a couple weeks ago, this was save 215. If you missed out on that, I do not want you to miss out on this. If you guys know that you have been losing your hard-earned money in crypto, today is the day you make that big change. Sign up to this combo if you have around one year experience in crypto. This will be the first link in the description. Sign up to all four if you have around two to three months of experience in crypto. Save 150, save 200. Four days left, everybody. Don't wait another minute. We're going to get into this chart first, and then we have a couple other powerful charts to talk about. But this video is about those two indicators. I want you guys to be able to be sitting at home watching these indicators like a hawk over the next week or two, and you'll be able to predict Bitcoin's next big move up or big move down. So where have we left off? Back here, around 6,000, we made a, a call that we were going to have a big rally based on some simple technical analysis. And we said not only was it just any big rally, we said we were going to have problems at the top of the rally. So we had a big rally. We had problems at the top. When we were around 8,000, we made a video called Bitcoin dangerous signals emerge. And we said repeatedly, nobody, nobody, nobody should be buying Bitcoin at these levels. You guys know what happened since then. We had, uh, we made a video about this as well. This has only happened two other times in the past six years with this many red candles in a row. It was a little devastating to say the least. And our most recent video was around 6,200. We said, hey guys, we're more than likely going to go up from here, but not by much, and we're probably going to have some problems. So what's happened since that video? We went up from 6,200, not by much, and we've had some problems. So now the first thing we're going to do in this video is decide what's going to happen next. What is the chart telling us and then we're going to get into those two indicators so what we see first and foremost and we talk about it a lot on the channel is we've had a big downturn and we have consolidation this is very healthy we like to see this when has this happened before pretty much every downturn we have is followed by a healthy consolidation and if we scroll back a little bit more we had this big devastating downfall from uh, 12,000 all the way down to six. And what did we do? We had healthy consolidation. So is this a bad sign? Absolutely not. We want to see this after a downfall. Now let's dig into these two indicators. Are these the two indicators that we're going to be talking about that you can watch at home? No, these are not the two indicators, but we're still going to cover them. So RSI right now is, is looking fairly healthy in terms of uh, we're not overextended at all. So we were overextended here to the downside, which means everybody was selling at this point. And we've had a little bit of a rebound, obviously not very significant because we're in this consolidation period. However, our stochastics have pretty much ran all the way up to this 80 mark. That's very important. We're going to zoom in on this and see that the stochastics is starting to point downward. We don't have a cross yet, but if we have a cross below the 80, we want to be prepared because we, we don't want to see a cross below the 80. The 80 level is right here. Now, if you may be asking, Steve, 
This seems to be a terrible sign, and it tells us that we're going to be going down for certain. No, not necessarily. Let me zoom back here in the charts and show you one, an exact scenario to how it's playing out today. Watch this, guys. We had this big downfall here, what we just discussed. From 11,000, we crashed down to 6. We had healthy consolidation. During that consolidation period, the stochastics ran up from below 20 all the way up to where it was today. And you see this kind of divot it made. It's the same divot that we have now, right before a big run. Also, if you look at the, uh, the RSI, the RSI had similar movement. We bottomed out at around 30 towards the beginning of consolidation. Towards the end of consolidation, we are right around 40, which is pretty much where we are now. Does that mean we're going to have a massive run-up? Not necessarily. That's why I'm going to give you those two indicators to watch, and then I'm going to tell you what I think at the end of the video. So this doesn't necessarily mean bad news, but we need to keep a close eye on the stochastics. So healthy consolidation is good so far. Let's get into what these two indicators are. You guys are aware of this 2014 chart compared to the 2018 chart, but I'm going to show you it through a different lens today and give you that first indicator, our warning sign. So we're going to start for those folks who aren't familiar, we're going to do a quick 10 second recap. This is 2014, the only other bear market in history. So what did 2014 do? Well, we had a massive run up. We had a top in December, a 70% correction. What about 2018? We had a massive run up, a top in the same exact months, December, and a 70% correction. The exact same thing as our last bear market. What happened after that? Our second bottom didn't quite touch. Third bottom poked a little bit through, which we don't like. It was a break in market structure. Second bottom didn't quite touch. Our bottom is this blue level. That's our market structure that we formed here. And our third bottom pierced through our market structure, broke our market structure. We don't like to see that. And this is after, uh, after the fact that we went on our last big run. This is when we set our fourth higher our lower high, sorry, our fourth lower high consecutive. You can see in 2014, we had our first lower high here, our second lower high here, our third lower high here, and our fourth lower high here. What did Bitcoin do in present day? For lower highs, we had our first lower high right here, our second here, our third here, and our fourth here. It's to a T, guys. And you can see we just made our fourth bottom. You see this arrow here? And our blue line represents our market structure. We pierced our market structure before. We, we said repeatedly that was a bad sign for the long term. And same thing happened. We pierced our bottom on the third, and we have our fourth bottom here. So the big question is, is what are these two signals? And the reason why I wanted to do this video is I want you guys at home to watch these signals like a hawk. Over the next week or two, this will really help you guys to learn what I'm looking for in the charts and it will help you prepare much better for the future. And these indicators are so simple to look for. It doesn't matter if you have um, three weeks experience in crypto. You're going to understand these two signals and exactly how to watch them. Before we get to these two signals, I want to get to something that's even more powerful and it will affect your life in a deeper manner than these two signals. Have you been losing your hard-earned money in crypto? Do you wish that you could just quit your job and just do crypto? My simple top-rated crypto classes will help you quit your job, live the life you dream of, and provide for your family. Guys, and right now, this four-day sale, you do not want to miss this. You sign up to this combo if you have around one year experience, and you sign up to this combo if you have a few months. This will be the first link in the description. This will be the second, and I'll put a link to the website right over here. Now, let's get to this signal. This is really exciting. Um, well, not, not so exciting. We're going to start with the warning signal. 
What I want you to pay attention to is this red line. We have two moving averages on this chart. The third one, the 100-day, it's meaningless with what we're discussing. So I wanted to clear up the chart. Pay attention to this red line. This is the 200-day, all right? The 200-day comes into action, and we haven't touched the 200-day at all during the bear market, okay? So during our fall, back in 2014, you can see all these bottoms we made, all these moves we made for about eight to nine months, we did not touch the 200-day. Where did we touch the 200-day? If we zoom in, where did we touch it the first time? Right at our fourth bottom, guys. Right at our fourth bottom. Well, Steve, what happened today, present day, 2018, with the 200-day, the red line? Where did we touch that? Have we touched it at all? Let's go to that. This is 2018. The red line is our 200-day moving average. Mind you, right now I am on a three-day chart. We wanted to take a little bit of a bigger picture approach to what this move is doing. Those of you who are my students, you have free access to Coinigy, so you can pull up this exact chart right now and watch it like a hawk the next week or two. It's called BTC USD 2018. Watch this red line, guys, the 200-day. We didn't touch it from our peak all the way for seven to eight months. We have not touched the 200-day, but we just touched it for the first time. Where did we touch it? We touched it right at our fourth bottom. We've done a lot of comparisons between 2014 and 2018. I've showed you many, many ways on how it's identical. This is just another. We've never covered this. So if we look at our fourth bottom, this fourth arrow, we have just touched it and right at our blue line, our market structure. So what I want you to watch for this next week to two weeks is a break of this 200-day. We don't want to see it. We would love to see a bounce off of the 200-day, but it's going to show a lot of weakness if we break this 200-day because if we break this 200-day, if we zoom in here and we see what's to follow, it is not pleasant. We want to stay above this 200-day. You can see we touched it down here, and then we had a couple three-day candles. Mind you, this is the three-day candles, all right? So we had a couple three-day candles bounce off and then we had a candle pierce through. If you see a candle pierce through that 200-day on a three-day chart, bad news. What I want to show you next is good news because we talked about it earlier in the show that we had this healthy consolidation after a downfall. There is a possibility that we could go on a run. I'm going to show you for all you Bitcoin bulls that really want to see a bull run. Uh, this won't necessarily mean a bull run, but an uptrend. What I want to show you is what to pay attention to closely, like a hawk, over the next week or two. And if we break this simple indicator, it could mean good news for the short term. I don't suspect long term, but for the short term, we could test this 200-day moving average. So that second indicator that could mean some good news that I want you to pay attention to is this green line right here. The 50-day. The 50-day is holding at one of the most critical prices we have right now in Bitcoin. And that's about 6,800. You can see it's about 6,009. The $6,800 level is incredible. And if you picture a magnet, but you know if you flip that magnet around and try to put it to the other magnet, they repel each other. You know, they push each other apart. They repel. That's what the $6,800 level is doing to us right now. It's repelling us. It won't even let us close to that level. That's how powerful it is. It's been powerful for a very long time. So you can see it's not letting us close. If we have the strength to break through this 50-day moving average, we're going to test the 200-day. It, it's that simple. So that's what I want you to watch. The 50-day... On the one-day chart, the 50-day on the one-day chart, to all my students, pull up CCU, YouTube, BTC. You guys have free access here. Watch this like a hawk in the next one to two weeks. And then on the three-day chart, pay close attention to this 200-day moving average. We want to hold that, guys. We want to hold that. This will be uh, a slippery slope if we were to break this. So 
That's what I want you to pay attention to the next week or two. We're going to keep you updated with what we see um, happening. But as far as my prediction is concerned, I'm sticking with what I've been talking about for many months. And until I see that we are no longer following 2014, we're going to continue to follow 2014. We followed it to the T with all of these moves. The only the only thing that we haven't followed to a T is this previous move. So for example, this move from this previous top to our 200 day was about 120 days in 2014. This move to here was about 26, 27 days. So it's about five times faster. This was the only significant difference between 2014 to 2018. Remember, we were supposed to hold the 50-day and retest in the 8,000s. So that could be coming if we were to get above the 50-day on the one-day chart, on this chart here. So that's what I want you guys to focus on. I believe we're going to continue to follow 2014 until it proves me otherwise, until we see some signals in the charts. But I want you to take that learning experience and, and use that to your advantage these next week or two. What I want to tell you guys next is, is something straight from the heart. And I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. We are building something so special together. Everybody that comes on and, and, and likes the video and everybody that comes on and, 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 and says something positive and uh, you share with your friends, you share on Twitter, you share it on Facebook. And even if you don't share it all, even if you're at home learning, that makes me happy. And together, I'm not building this alone. We're building something so special. And I tell you guys as often as I possibly can. And we are building something so special together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, I love doing these videos. You guys, the response is, is incredible. And to be honest, when I started doing these videos, I didn't think anybody would like them. I thought they would think they were boring, honestly. Um, now I get to do something I've loved for so long. I've loved talking about money since I was a little kid, six, seven years old, and people thought I was really silly then. And, and now... You guys are really learning, we're inspiring, we're changing lives, we're helping people quit their jobs to do crypto full-time. This is incredible. In my classes, the, the response from my classes has been off the charts. It's, it's just it's mind-blowing how powerful our classes are and how much of an impact they're having on so many lives. So I'm just blessed, I'm thankful, and I wanted to say thank you. If you guys haven't done so already, don't miss out on these four-day sale, right? Only four days left. You guys remember when this was saved 215 just a couple weeks ago. If you missed out on that, I do not want you to miss out on this. If you know you have been losing your hard-earned money, today is the day you make that change. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. This will be the first link in the description. Sign up to this one if you have around one year experience in crypto. Sign up to this combo if you have a few months experience in crypto. I look forward to welcoming you in and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace and love to the crypto crew.